You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. That there are 145,000 confirmed uh, coronavirus cases internationally. 5,408 folks have died. 70,920 have recovered. You see, we have not even ramped up to having maximum uh, testing in the United States. Uh, yet you heard the news conference there. Uh, they're working with private labs and uh, public companies to actually do that. Joining us, joining us right now, Dr. Uh, Tashaka Cunningham, a, mole a molecular biologist uh, who is also uh, who studied uh, virology as well. Uh, Dr. Cunningham, how you doing? Great, great to be with you, Roland. Uh, so, your company, um, what sort of what testing is your company involved in? Our company actually does genetic testing mostly in the mental health arena um, right now. We're developing genetic diagnostics to look at um, things like um, predisposition for PTSD and other mental health disorders. But as a scientist, and I'm speaking on behalf of myself right now just as a citizen scientist, I'm just looking for ways to be helpful. I mean, I've had a number of my colleagues um, call me and uh, ask me um, you know, what they could do with regard to testing. So you know, I've got you know, lines out to, to all the folks I know um, our, our group is trying to, you know, do our best to help to see what we can do in the context of the expertise we have to add uh, to the, the capabilities of testing in our general area. Um, and I think it's got to be sort of this all hands on deck um, situation because there, there are these shortages. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really in the business of the blame game. I mean, you know, I think there were missteps on, on a lot of different parts uh, from China, uh, especially at the early going um, and other places. But we're at the situation where to really stave off uh, more of a crisis, we need to really get our arms around this as a country. So I think it was, um, you know, uh, Mr. Nance said, I, you know, even if I don't agree with President Trump, I'm rooting for the, that administration to do something better here. Um, I think um, we've got to really um, follow some basic kind of quarantine-like procedures. I think that's what's, what's coming down the pike from different states that have, uh, like ours here in Virginia, that have declared a state of emergency. Um, and, you know, really make sure that we keep the, that, that distance uh, from, from folks and, you know, avoid large gatherings. And, you know, seeing the, the extremity of everything and uh, the urgency of it is really important. I mean, people need to take care of one another, as the general said. It's like really make sure that we're washing our hands, that we're using hand sanitizer, um, that we're really limiting our contact in large groups. And, and that's what we can do right now. Speaking of that, we, we have seen cities and states, some are limiting groups to 250, some 500, some 1,000. What's the number? I mean, I, that's like a range. Like, what's, I'm just trying to understand how you even get to that number. I mean, I think it's, you know, for, for, it's a bit of guesswork there. I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm not an epidemiologist, I'm a molecular biologist. I'm the kind of person that can act, actually pull apart a virus, right? So I can take a virus apart at the molecular level, design a test for it, et cetera, and try to design some treatments. I think what this whole thing has shown me, I mean, to answer your question, I don't know how they arrive at that number per se. Honestly, I think um, the safe number is, you know, as few as possible right now, right? It's like, just try to kind of keep yourself, um, you know, as isolated as you can, unfortunately, uh, for the time being to sort of let it pass in, in terms of not having it spread from person to person. One of the real dangerous things about this virus is that you can have asymptomatic carriers, that is people that don't appear to be that sick, that can pass it on, right? Um, and it seems that um, you've got about 2% of the people that get it that are dying from it. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's just scary because if you've got millions and millions of people getting it, that means a lot of folks are gonna die. So I think um, you know Dr. Fauci and, and others uh, who've reported on it have said that it's about 10 times more lethal than, than the flu. So, so that's something to, to consider, uh, but that said, 98% of people are going to recover, right? So it's like you just, if you can just sort of keep it so that folks aren't spreading it as fast, you really want to just keep that that risk of spread down. That's why you're going to have these quarantine measures that have to be followed. Okay, so so on that point, it's a perfect example. So uh, when I was in Chicago for the NBA All-Star Game, so this had to be February 15th, uh, I get into an Uber, and this, this driver had some kind of scent, and it was an awful scent, and it immediately kicked in my allergies. I'm talking about immediate, I'm talking about, when I say immediate, literally mm -hmm. within the first two minutes, uh, throat is scratchy and it's, I mean, it just it immediately hit me. So I come back and so I'm dealing with allergies and I got, of course, you know, I got congestion, pretty much that goes away and still have a slight cough left. Part of the problem though for people out here is that 
Like, you can't tell what's what. Now, one of the things they said is that what you should do is you should hold your breath for 10 seconds, and if, if you don't cough in that 10 seconds, uh, you probably, you're not having the lung issues to, uh, tied to uh, coronavirus. And so how do we tell people out there, because we're also in the middle of al allergy season. So how do we deal with, okay, allergies? Is it the flu? Is it coronavirus? What the hell? Yeah, it's going to be hard to tell. I mean, again, coronavirus looks symptomology wise uh, a lot like a common cold. And I think um, what you're going to have, to, and again, that's the, the need for social distancing, right? To sort of stand six feet away from people, washing your hands frequently, sanitizing your hands, trying not to touch your face. I mean, I think they say we, we on average, touch our face about 100 times a day, right? Try not to do that, right? Okay, okay, hold on. Um, so let's stop right really there. Try okay, to limit on. your contact. So, to, to not unpack that, okay? Yeah. Why, why can't we touch our face? Just, just explain okay, to people so why. So what happens is, is like viruses are invisible, right? Like to the naked eye. They're about, this virus is between 80 and 160 nanometers. That naked eye can't see it. I can see it on an electron microscope, like in my lab, but that naked eye can't see it. So when someone coughs, it's in these microscopic, mm -hmm. nanoscopic droplets, right? Is that, that you see, right? So what happens is these droplets get on surfaces, they can be on clothes, et cetera. So if you're touching doorknobs and if you're, doing all of this stuff, then when you start touching your face, like your nose, your eyes, your mucous membranes, that's just giving the virus entry point, right? So that's when we say, if you stop doing that, you're, re you're reducing the amount of times that you're, you're putting yourself at risk of putting the virus in an area that it can enter your body. Your skin is a nice natural barrier, right? But your mucous membranes and you know your nasal passages are where viruses like to enter. So you really, you really wanna wash your hands to reduce the chance of you spreading that virus into those vulnerable areas. See, and, and that's so weird because I think if, if the average person, if you, you probably set a camera up and just tape yourself for five minutes, uh, it might be shocked to see how many times you actually touch your face. I've touched my face about five times since we were talking, right? <laughs> but my hands have been cleaned about six times since I came in my house. I'm like really, you know, hypochondriac with it like that. I mean, I use a lot of sanitizer. I wash my hands as soon as I enter my home. And it's like, you know, I wash them for at least 20 seconds. You know, they say, sing the happy birthday song. I mean, I'm very thorough with that. So, and I use a lot of lotion so they don't get dry. So I think what you really want to do is just, just do these basic precautions. I mean, yeah. hand washing right now, everyone's asking me, what can you do? I think right now we don't have a drug. We don't have a vaccine. That's some months off. Um, and so right now everyone's going to have to practice these sort of quarantine procedures and also just really wash your hands and clean your hands with 60% or, or higher uh, uh, alcohol, uh, hand sanitizer, and, and make sure you, you know, use good soap and water. That's the best you can do right All now. All right, Dr. Chishaka Cunningham, we shall appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, folks, back to that Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, so a lot of y'all always asking me about terms, some of the pocket squares that I wear. Now, I don't know, Robert don't have one on. Nope. Now, I don't particularly like the white pocket squares. I don't like even the silk ones. And so I was reading GQ magazine a number of years ago, and I saw uh, this guy who had this, this pocket square here, and it looks like a flower. Uh, this is called a shibori pocket square. This is how the Japanese manipulate the fabric to create this sort of flower effect. So I'm going to take it out and then place it in my hand so you see what it looks like. And I said, man, this is pretty cool. And so I tracked down, the. it took me a year to find a company that did it. Uh, and so uh, they make these about 47 different colors. And so I love them because, again, as men, we don't have many accessories to wear, so we don't have many, many options. Uh, and so this is really a pretty cool uh, pocket square. Now, what I love about this here is you saw uh, when it's uh, in, in the pocket, you know, it gives you that flower effect like that but if I wanted to also unlike other because if I flip it and turn it over it actually gives me a different type of texture and so therefore it gives me a different look so there you go so uh, if you actually want to uh, get one of these shibori pocket squares we have them in 47 different colors all you got to do is go to rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all right so first of all that graphic is way too small so uh, tomorrow we're going to run it right down here all across the screen so it's rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all you got to do is go to my website uh, and you can actually uh, get this now for those of you who are members of our bring the funk fan club there's a discount for you 
to get our pocket squares. That's why you also got to be a part of our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, and so that's what we want you to do. And so it's pretty cool. So if you want to jazz your look up, you can do that. In addition, uh, y'all see me with some of the feather pocket squares. My sister who is a designer. She actually makes these. They're all custom made. So when you also go to the website, you can also order one of the customized uh, feather pocket squares uh, right there at rollingsmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. So please do so. And of course, uh, that goes to support the show. And again, if you're a Brenda Funk fan club member, you get a discount. This is why you should join the fan club. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.